Hi, my name is Keith with BBI Designs, and this is a how to video on how to jet your nitrous kit. Uh, basically, what we're, we have here is the fitting that goes into the intake plenum. Okay? If you take the bottom of this fitting here, you can drill a 5 6 using a 5 16 drill bit, you're going to drill into this fitting. Okay, when you're done drilling, it'll look like that. This is before, and this is after. Okay, then you'll be able to take a Holly jet. This is a Holly jet. Let me show you. You can see the jet. It's kind of blurry today. Anyway. You're going to take this holly jet and stick it inside the fitting there. And then you'll use a hammer and you'll tap it down. And when you're done, it'll look like this one here. And you just tap it in. It goes in pretty snug. Um, so, once you get the jet in, my recommendation is to go ahead and throw it on your engine, test it out, see how it works. If you want to change the jets, all you do is you flip this upside down. Now this is the old style of barb fitting we used to use on the intakes. And I haven't went and drilled one of these, but they're the exact same uh, fitting. You know, it, it'll, it works exactly the same. The threading and everything's the same on it. So anyway, so don't pay any attention to the fact that this is a barb fitting and this is a union fitting. They're still the same thread on the bottom. They still have the same diameter hole inside when they start out. Here's a, a barb fitting. So you can see and the holes on the inside are the same so anyway so anyway you'll take this fitting you'll tap your jet in you'll go ahead and screw it into your intake and you'll test your nitrous to change the jets I started out with about an 80 jet here and uh, you'll see how it reacts and then you can take it put it in a vise take a pocket screwdriver or uh, in this case I used an allen wrench here's an allen wrench here the allen wrench just happens to fit right inside of here pretty nicely. Put it in a vise and just tap and the jet will come back out. Then you can change your jet. Anyway, when you're all done and you get the jet situated, the one you actually want to use, and you're all done, I recommend notching the end of the fitting here. Right here. You can see I've notched this one. You notch it right here on the end here and over here on this end too. You notch it the actual fitting the brass and the brass will sink into the jet a little bit there and that'll prevent the jet from ever coming out um, so anyway that's how you jet it then you just put this back in your intake plenum put your hose back on and you've now jetted it um, basically by adding a smaller jet to this you'll be able to hold the trigger longer you'll use less nitrous all at once and your power band will be longer I believe you'll get better overall performance but you'll need to jet it to each individual engine because our nitrous kits are designed for such a universal use it's hard to just set one particular jet for each engine um, basically on the smaller engines you hit the trigger you let right off and you've already maxed your RPM on the bigger engines you hold the you tend to hold the trigger a lot longer but um, Anyway, this is how the jet kit works. Currently, we're not offering them for sale. You'll have to just make them yourself, but this is kind of a how-to video on how to do it um, if you want to fine-tune your, your nitrous kit. Um, check us out at www.boostbottleindustries.com. Thanks for watching, and uh, hope this helps you guys out. All right.